Hey everybody, T Mr. Legacy Builder here. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more biz for more videos dealing with business, real estate, and multiple streams of income. This channel is strictly about informing you guys, entertaining you guys, and instructing you guys so that you guys are able to build a legacy that's worth living as well as changing generations to come. Now your time is valuable as always, so let's jump right into it. Just to be clear, um, I'm going to be looking to the side every now and then just to make sure I got the proper points out so that you guys will not miss any of the details. Now, as of two days ago, maybe three, the IRS has, excuse me, not the IRS, but the government has indicated that they are updating the process and the programs on portals across the states. Um, so make sure you guys, if you haven't watched the previous video, where I have the link for you guys to go ahead and check all the states and get caught up to what I'm talking about, then click this link over my head. Or at the end of the video, I'm also gonna have that series. Just click that series and watch the whole thing or click the link in the description either one of those links. So that'll get you caught up to what I'm talking about. But a couple of days ago, the um, government stated that they will be updating the portals across the states to help everybody get the free rental um, assistance where you can get up to 15 months of free rent to help you with the back pays. Um, as far as to help people who need help with current rents. So it's not just for people who are in back pay, but it's also for people who need help with um, paying their current rents as well. So make sure you guys like this video. Definitely it'll help me out if you like the information that I'm going to give you. Just like the video. Um, if you have a comment that you need me to address that I don't address while I'm going through this video, make sure you um, hit me up with a comment below and I hit that point and answer your question. Now, Let's just cut right through to it and get right to the meat. This video shouldn't be too long because I'm going to walk you through it. So make sure you stay to the end of the video and give you these examples. Now, the first thing you want to do is be a renter. And what that means, everything that I'm saying, you have to be able to prove. If you're able to prove it, it's more validity and it keeps your process expedited. And because it's still a lot of funds out there, you'll be able to get your funds sooner. Don't forget to check out that video as well that I had there previously, because in that video, I explained to you guys a little bit more in detail um, of everything that's going on with the American Rescue Plan. This video is just going to guide you guys. Now, the next thing you want to do um, as far as being a renter is you want to make sure that you're under the program limits according to the location of the home that you are basically saying you reside at and that you want to seek rental assistance for. So in the description, there's a tool that you can use that'll take you right to your address and it'll let you see what is the um, limitations and the um, limit, the um, minimums for limit as far as what the household is. So make sure you click that link in the description. Um, the next thing that you want to have to make sure you're eligible is you want to make sure that either you or someone in the home experience some type of income reduction or loss because of the global situation dealing with the pandemic or COVID or um, somebody in the house is unemployed. Either one of those things, either you can declare it by writing out a letter or you can show some type of proof. Basically, for example, I, Terrence Moore, have experienced the financial loss due to the pandemic, yada, 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 and just explain in no more than a paragraph of two of what exactly happened and show some type of proof, whether it's a reduction of pay, you can show a check stub where you show that, or whether you are unemployed or anything of that nature, even if your hours change. You're just showing proof of how COVID has, excuse me, not just COVID, but how the situation has changed 
for you economically because of the global situation that have, have happened previously. Next thing you wanna do as far as income limits. So the area where your home is that you're applying, saying that you wanted money for, for those rents, needs to be 80% of the medium income amount of that area. Now I'll click the tool in the link to help you know exactly what that income limit is. And also you wanna, if you are 50% or less of the medium income of where your home is located, you're considered a priority because it's basically letting the government know and those people who are providing the funds in your community and state know that um, you're experiencing a more dynamic impact and you need your funds sooner. And that's with the people that's 50% under the medium income according to the location when you use that tool. Now, that doesn't mean that the people who are under the 80% are not a priority. It's just the way that the government has it. So just keep that in mind. The next thing you wanna make sure you focus on is proper paperwork. Now, I'm gonna just brush through the proper paperwork because I wanna go over to the next screen and walk you through three portals and three different states to kind of guide you and show you. Now, keep in mind, each portal varies according to the state's web developer and how the state outlined their um, application process throughout their portal. Some of it will be easy where it's just a click and you can go right to it. Others, you're going to have to do a little bit of legwork on the portal where you can just read through it. Keep in mind, each one of these portals have a contact us number so you can always find the contact us number if you get lost and you can't find the actual application click to go straight to the application portal you can always click right there so don't um forget and just keep that in mind so here go to paperwork paperwork number one proof of identity you want to have a valid um id whether that's a um something from the government driver's license, um, it could be um, any valid proof of income. It doesn't have to have, as of the timing of the video, it doesn't have to have, um, excuse me, misses my, my train of thought, but it doesn't have to have the actual address on that proof of, in, um, proof of ID. You just have to have proof of who you are, so driver's license, um, no, not the social security card. You can't use that. Um, you can have um, just any proof of income that's either government issued or maybe your job ID that can also um, be used in some states. Check with your city as well as your particular portal. The next thing that you want to have is your rental agreement. And your rental agreement is between you and a property management company or maybe a bank, you wanna either have those two things. If you don't have that to show proof that you pay rent at that location, then you need a document of some sort between you and another party. Um, here's a tip that'll help you expedite it. You wanna make sure all your documents have valid proof or validity. And what I mean by that, is some form of third party or some form of bonded agreement between you and another individual. So if it's not a um, established business property management company or a bank where you have proof that you're paying the rent, you wanna have a notarized form between you and an another individual. So that way you have validity that that document is a bonded agreement and that you actually have to pay those funds. Um, if you guys are finding this information helpful, make sure you like this video, by the way, so that other people like yourself can see the video. Also, if you have any questions or if this information is helping you, be sure to comment below. Now, lastly, you want to make sure that you send this information in as soon as possible. So... Right now, and I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to see you on another screen. But just to recap before we go on that screen, 
so I can guide you through it and give you three examples on different portals and how to apply. You want to make sure that you have eligibility background, that you are a renter. You want to have proof that you are a renter, which is a leasing agreement or some type of documented agreement. If it's not some type of lease, you want it notarized. You want to have proof of your income in the form of making sure that your income meet the criteria. And what that means is looking at the tool that's in the description, making sure that you uh, meet those limitations as well as making sure that you meet those locations. So utilizing the description information and then you want to make sure that you're showing the proof of, you know, who you are uh, as well as the leasing agreements and making sure that if it's not through a uh, established legit established business you want to have it notarized if it's between you and somebody else for example if you're paying for maybe room and board maybe you stay with somebody and you're renting a room you need a notarized document from them and you can still be able to be eligible so i see you guys on the next screen let me go ahead and give you guys a brief example on how to apply using three different states and three different portals Hey everybody, T Mr. Legacy Builder here. And let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna give you an example of a couple of the tools that's in the description. So after the video, you guys can kind of use those tools and know what they look like. This tool right here is the tool that will give you an understanding of your area medium median income. So if you was to put in I'm going to just use a address. Oh, address. So if you was to put in any address, this is a address from a couple of decades ago. So this is Jersey City. If you was to put in that address, you would see the area medium income for that address and that area is $99,500. And you see 80%, which is the number you have to be at or under is 76,600. So as long as you're under that number, you will qualify as far as income is concerned. Remember, if you're at the 50 percentile and you're under that, which is the 49,750, you would be um, a priority. So this is an example of the area medium income that I was talking about when I told you you had to make sure that you qualified area-wise. Now, um, let's go ahead and look at the actual application link. This is the long version right here um, for you guys. And if you was just to click this one right here, you would have to basically go in scroll all the way down to this click right here then you would scroll all the way down to the program right here once you get into that you would have to click right here so in the description i have this link as well but um we're just going to give you the shortcut link which is this one it comes straight to this page so that link that i just clicked will be in the um, description below so when the video ends, like the video and subscribe and then click this link. Um, you'll click right here and each portal, this is very important and this is key. Each portal has its own um, guidelines and own applications. So let's start with, I'm going to just pick one random. Um, I'm going to pick a couple of places. So I have a couple of people who follow me that wanted me to look into it. So let's start with, uh, you see, let me see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's look at Nevada. So we was to click in Nevada. You can scroll through and you'll see it's right here. You'll click this link. It'll bring you to this page. You'll click the county. Let's click Clark. And then it is say you read this. 
after you finish reading that then you'll come over here and you'll click accordingly it says visit portal right here you'll visit the portal um, to check the status if you already did it you'll click my application so I'm gonna just click this portal so you can see it and then you'll go from here now um, let's just get out of this real fast let me do another one so let's go ahead and do uh, Michigan let's go ahead and go into Michigan real fast so we was in Michigan we will click one of these and after you click it it'll tell you you'll see a button somewhere on there um, you got a couple of other resources over here as well if you wanted to look into that of course it says who is eligible so it has a, a lot of different places for you to go ahead and look once you click on that then you will go into this it'll have a frequent ask questions right here your status if you already filled it out the documents that's required and you can click the apply now you'll put your information as so and then you'll go through it from there um, let's do one more just to show you guys let's go into Ohio so in Ohio here go all the counties right here we are going to Cleveland and it'll say you are now leaving the Treasury you'll click right here and here go to portal right here tenants know your rights landlord information so you see this one right here is for homeowners as well here go to landlord information this one right here is for renters so whether you're in a house and you're renting or if you're in a um, apartment staying with somebody or anything of that nature so on each portal you'll be able to scroll that portal and look for whatever you're looking for to find um, the actual location to apply and to get this application out there make sure you rewatch the video to make sure you got all the information that you needed remember click the other link from and watch the previous video to kind of you to, to kind of bring you up to speed so that if you have any questions um, from this video the previous video might help you because it has more data to help you understand um, how this information is here and things of that nature but this video has the same um, has more data as well and um, gives you the straight to the point application and everything to apply for so as you see here go all the states and the links so i hope this helped you guys make sure you um say some in the comments if this is your first time hearing this information let me know in the comments also make sure you subscribe again like this video so more people can see it in the algorithm and i appreciate you guys time be blessed to see mr legacy builder peace